So here we have Nathan Harrison from Western Warriors in the blue corner and wearing the blue shorts versus Andre Mahone from Prince FA in the red corner and wearing the red shorts. This is scheduled for three two minute rounds of white collar boxing. Australian Nathan Harrison looking to throw some nice straight jabs, keeping his partner at a distance, I think. Oh, some big overhand rights from Andre. Always interesting to try to look into the minds of these fighters and see what they're looking for. Are they looking for a points victory? Are they looking to soften up their opponents? Or are they just looking to bomb them out straight away? Looks to me as though uh, Nathan's looking for, for points at the moment, trying to have a tactical win. Andre's looking for a big shot, I think. The trouble is, if you're looking for a big shot, sometimes the uh, your opponent will just rack up the points. And if your big shot doesn't come, then uh, you end up being too far behind on the judges' scorecards. He needs to keep his head up a little bit when he punches. He's dropping it down. He can't really see where his punch goes. Getting a bit of a tangle there. Hopefully pulling them apart. And Nathan, uh, Nathan working well off that jab. And to open his opponent up with the jab, follow up with something a little bigger. Big right, maybe a hook. Some straight rights to me at the moment. Andre's still looking for a big shot. It's the first round, then. that's uh, definitely uh, a round to Nathan Harrison on my school. So here we go for round two then. On my scorecard, we've got Nathan Harrison one round ahead. He took the first round. And let's see whether Andre Mahoney's uh, corner has given him any inspirational words. Or indeed whether Nathan's had. He's certainly thrown some bigger shots at the beginning of this round. Sometimes quite useful when after the first round you go back to the corner and the corner, the corner man can perhaps give you some information about what, what may work with your opponent and seeing them for a round. Pushing all your opponent's corner saying to them, telling you know, tell them, tell them to change, telling them therefore to change tactics. Oh, Andre Corn with a nice overhand right there. And look a little more even so far. I still think uh, Nathan's just edging it at the moment. Certainly landing more clean shots. It's quite a big right hand from Andre. <laughs> He's certainly taking up that right hand. If he lands it clean, it uh, could be a devastating technique. Oh, and there it is. That landed followed by a left hook. Nathan looks a little bit wobbly. See how well he's taking that punch. See how well he recovers. 
I think I'm trying to be looking for that big shot again, and there it was. Here it comes again. Luckily for Nathan, didn't land that time. Nathan sticking to his uh, working off the jab plan, I think. A bit tied up, tied up with the ropes down with his opponent. In the second round, I think perhaps slightly. Okay, so here we go. Last round of three. Will Nathan Harrison go back to his uh, first round plan of working for a points victory? Or will Andre Mahone land one, of those, one or two of those big bombs? Interesting round. Nathan working away reasonably accurate at the moment. He's got to be careful of that big right hand though. There it is, big right hand, landed flush on the jaw. Difficult to know what uh, what effect it has on a fighter. It certainly seemed to wobble him in the last round. Andre keeping his head up a little bit better in this round. Although he's getting tagged with those jabs all the time. I think that the, the judge is looking for that. So it's good boxing technique. Jab after jab landing. And in terms of uh, little statistics sometimes in fights and you see how many punches thrown and how many landed. I think with Nathan it would be a quite a close thing. How many punches thrown, how many landed. Not so close for Andre, throwing some bigger shots. However, when they land, they have quite an effect. Both fighters are showing a little bit of fatigue now. Oh, there's a good right hand from Nathan. An exchange of jabs. Not long left in this round, guys. Nathan going for a big right hand. Oh, and he gets caught with a big right hand from Andre. Andre, Andre looking for those big shots again now. Fairly even. Oh, and there's the uh, there's the final bell. Well, I wouldn't like to call this one. First round, I think I gave to Nathan. Second to Andre. That one was fairly even. Thank you.